everyone and welcome to Medisoft Training with Cheryl. Today we're going to teach you how to add a new provider into Medisoft. So as you see on the screen, I have my Medisoft open. Looks pretty simple, right? So the first thing I need you to do is to go to list and then down to provider and then go over to providers. So now as you see, I already have six providers added in. What I'm going to do is show you how to add a new provider. Before doing this, make sure you have all the provider IDs, numbers, and the credentialing of that provider. So you will need the provider's MPI number, individual and group, any additional identification number such as a TPI number from Medicaid or a Medicare group ID number. And you'll need the physical address and what the credentials of that provider are. And if any of the providers have different numbers for different payers, then I would need you to gather all those numbers as well so that we can set it up correctly in our Metastuff. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to go to new. Another screen will pop up and it'll say provider new at the top and you'll get three tabs, address, reference, and provider ID. The code, if you would like to create your own code for that provider, then you would type it in. But typically we leave that blank so that the system can create it. And then you'll be more aware of what the code is just in case you forget it if you create your own. So now we want to enter in the last name of our provider and we're going to do Brooks. And then we're going to do the first name of our provider and it's going to be Cheryl. And you do not have to put a middle name unless the middle name is um, how the provider is paid. Like on the paychecks, his, um, his middle name comes up or a middle initial comes up. And then you would want to put that on there as well. So I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go to credentials and I'm going to type MD because Cheryl is a medical doctor. And then I'm going to enter in the address. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a address and it's going to be 1234 River Lane Drive. Okay, so the zip code is going to be 77598 and our city is going to be Webster and the state is going to be Texas. You do not have to put in an email address and I also recommend that you don't put in an email address so that it doesn't cause any problems, but you can if you would like. And we're going to enter in our office number. Okay, now the home number you do not enter, the fax number you can enter, and the cell number you can enter if the insurance knows the doctor by the cell number. The next box we want to click, I'm sorry, click is signature on file. I would leave the date blank so that it does not, um, because if you put a date in there, sometimes you tend to forget to come back and redo the date. Um, so if you just make sure you have the signature on file box checked, then that's fine. Um, the Medicare participating, you can check that box as well. And you can enter in the license number if Medicare has, if the, the provider signed up a credential with Medicare with his license number. Then the reference tab, this will be if you had any additional numbers that were given by different payers. When you will enter that here, typically we do not put anything in this actual um, tab. We want to go over to provider IDs. So here we're going to do new. And we're going to say that for all insurance carriers, for all facilities, we're going to file the claim as an individual, meaning that the paychecks come in the provider's name, not in the practice name. And then we're going to put in the MPI number, the individual MPI number. Okay, and we're going to put our taxonomy number from the practice because it's the same for the individual and the provide a group if it was not the same you want to click the taxonomy button and put in a taxonomy number and then the tax identifier number if it was different then you want to put the individual tax id number if it's the same as the practice information then we're just going to put from the practice and it will pull it from the practice now down here by the legacy identifiers this is if you are given a specific number from the payer that you needed to add additional like the medicaid tpi number or um, if blue cross blue shield gave you an additional number then you want to add that here so for all payers i want this number to go over then we're going to click save click ok do you see the the actual line pop up here then i will click save and then it will that provider will be created in the system 
Now, let's just say Cheryl Brooks has a different number that was given by Medicaid. So I will go back under that provider by double clicking or selecting her and clicking edit. Then I will go to my provider ID tab and see now I have all providers getting that information for the first line. I want to create an additional line for just Medicaid. So I'm going to fill in the insurance carrier button. Then I'm going to go to my drop down, choose Medicaid. I'm still going to file my claim as an individual, put in my national provider ID number, which is the same that I had before. And I'm still going to pull my taxonomy and tax ID from my practice. But then I'm going to come down to Legacy 1 and I'm going to type in my Medicaid ID number. Then once I put that in, I'm going to go over to the next box. I'm going to choose and let Medicaid know this is the Medicaid provider ID number that you assigned to me. And I'm going to click OK, then save. Now, what I've just done is said for all other payers besides Medicaid to send just my MPI number. But if it's a Medicaid, I want you to send my MPI number plus my Medicaid TPI, which is provider identification number assigned to me by Medicaid. So anytime I choose Medicaid as an insurance, it will pull that number as well and put it on the claim. So. There are other insurances that will require things such as this, like uh, a mayor group is another one, but this is how you will enter in additional lines and specify only for those particular payers. And you can, every Metasoft should have an all, and then you can add additional lines. Well, that's the end of this video. I want to thank you for taking your time out with me and learning about how to add a provider into Metasoft system. Thank you. Until next time.